Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're making Lucine butter or raisin rolls. They're a soft, pillowy bun, chock full of raisins. We definitely ate a version of these rolls a lot growing up. These are great on their own as a snack or you can toast them and put butter and jam on them. Great for breakfast. If you wanna learn how to make these raisin rolls, keep on watching. For this recipe, you're going to need 300 milliliters of milk. The milk should be lukewarm in temperature so that the yeast is happy. Two teaspoons of instant yeast. You can also use active dry or fresh yeast. 40 to 45 grams of granulated sugar, which is around three tablespoons. You're gonna need one large egg, one egg yolk, and then we have one egg that we're gonna reserve for the end for the egg wash. You're also gonna need one and a half teaspoons of salt, 550 grams of flour, four tablespoons or 57 grams of unsalted butter, and last but not least, around 155 grams or a very packed cup full of raisins. We're gonna start by adding our yeast and a little bit of the sugar into our lukewarm milk. Then we're gonna start it to combine and then let it sit for around 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes and our yeast is nice and frothy. So now we're gonna to mix together our dough. As with most bread or roll recipes, I'm gonna combine this in a stand mixer, but you can definitely knead this by hand, just combining all the ingredients in a bowl and then turning it out onto a surface to knead. With the stand mixer, I'm gonna use a dough attachment. I'm gonna pour in our yeast mixture first, and then add in the rest of my sugar, one egg, and for the second egg, we're just adding the yolk, so I'm gonna separate out the egg white. Now just giving this a bit of a rough mix to break up the egg yolks. Most of the flour is gonna go in now. And then we're adding in our salt. And now we start mixing. Now that we have it very roughly combined, the mixer's only been running for around a minute, we're gonna add in our butter. I can already tell that I'm gonna need some more flour, so I'm just gonna add some more of that as well. And then keep kneading. If your dough is really sticky, make sure to add a little bit more flour. So I'm gonna add some more tablespoons at this point. It's been around eight to 10 minutes of pretty consistent kneading. The dough is not sticking to my fingers when I touch it and it's pretty much released from the sides of the bowl. So for the last few minutes, we're gonna add in our raisins and let those mix in. You may need to knead the dough at the end together a few times by hand just to evenly distribute the raisins, but the mixer should do most of the work. This is looking pretty evenly distributed, so I'm gonna add it back into our bowl. All right, now we're gonna cover this and this is gonna rise for probably 45 minutes to an hour, and then we'll be back to shape our rolls. It's been a little over an hour and our dough has definitely risen. You can see that it's just about doubled in size and when you poke it, it leaves a nice indent that doesn't spring back right away. We're gonna turn the dough out onto a clean work surface. I'm just pressing this into a log so that I can divide it more easily. I'm gonna make 12 rolls today. If any of them are looking a little smaller than the others, you can always redistribute a little bit. To make these buns nice and round, I'm gonna take each bun and place it on my clean work surface and then start rolling it around in the palm of my hand in little circles while cupping your hand over the dough. See a nice round top form. And the bottom, you may wanna pinch together just a few times just to close any seam that might form and then repeat and you should be left with a nice bun. Now that they're all shaped, I have a baking sheet lined with a silicone mat. You can also use parchment paper. So I'm actually gonna put all 12 on this one and bake them so that they kind of touch each other. But if you don't want them to touch, I would maybe put them on two different sheets. 
Now I'm gonna cover these. Our rolls are gonna rise for another 30 to 40 minutes and then we'll egg wash them and they'll go in the oven. Maybe around 10 minutes before your buns are done proofing. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, which is around 204 degrees Celsius. It's been around 45 minutes, so let's take a look at our buns. They look nice and puffed up. If I press on them, they leave a little indent. This is just one egg mixed with a little bit of water and then whisked, whisked, whisked together. And we're gonna brush it over all of the buns. These so are ready to go in the oven for around 10 to 12 minutes. These are definitely best eaten slightly warm or toasted if it's the next day. And then I'm gonna add some butter. Let's try it. The bun is super soft. The raisins are just a hint of sweetness. Perfect little snacking roll. Thank you so much for watching our video. We hope you try to make these rolls and we'll see you for the next video. Bye.